Hi there, I'm Mike Ernst, and this is the first chapter of the Introduction to Illustrator for Planners course, part of Planners and Courses. And in this video, I'll give a brief overview of the course, and I'll also talk about uh, who might want to consider taking it. So Adobe Illustrator is part of a package of software called Adobe Creative Suite that includes programs like Photoshop and InDesign, and then depending on the level that you've purchased, might include things like Flash and Dreamweaver. Now if you've used any of those programs, if you've used InDesign or Photoshop, you'll notice that there are elements of Illustrator that seem really familiar. Uh, that's because Adobe has used, has tried to create a uh, consistent visual language. They've put a lot of time into making the program seem fairly consistent. Uh, so if you've used those programs before, uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of similarities in Illustrator. However, if you haven't used any of those programs before, uh, don't worry, we're going to go over in a lot of detail uh, the ins and outs of Illustrator uh, from the beginning. So why might you want to consider learning Illustrator? Well, it's the industry standard. If you're doing any sort of design work that involves vector graphics, I'll get in into what vector graphics are in a second, uh, they're going to be most likely using Adobe Illustrator. There are some different alternatives out there, but uh, especially for print medium, uh, for logos, for maps, uh, Adobe Illustrator is the standard uh, package of software uh, used for creating vector graphics. Uh, it's an incredibly useful tool for planners. Uh, so it's also, it has all sorts of applications. Uh, specifically, I use Adobe Illustrator all the time for creating maps. Um, it also can be used for all sorts of other things uh, because it's an incredibly complex program. You'll, uh, you'll see that there are all sorts of things you can do with it. Uh, and the more you become familiar with it, uh, the more powerful those tools become because you'll have a greater understanding of how they work. And finally, it's an in-demand skill. I just did a quick search uh, in, the, in the city that I live in for uh, jobs that were asking for uh, understanding of Adobe Illustrator, and there was an incredibly uh, wide range of, of, of jobs out there, uh, both related to planning and beyond. Uh, so it's definitely a skill that is useful to know and has a wide variety of applications. So who might want to consider taking this course? This course is primarily aimed at people who are working in the planning field who are interested in learning more about vector graphics. So what is the difference between vector and other kinds of graphics? I'll get into that right now. Uh, and the way that I'm going to talk about that is, is having a discussion of Photoshop versus Illustrator. So. Uh, Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, these programs are often confused and it's understandable because they look pretty similar. However, it's worth noting that uh, while there is an incredibly uh, incredible amount of overlap between what these programs can do, uh, they do have distinct purposes and were built uh, with uh, specific purposes in mind. Now, uh, there are two main different kinds of graphics out there. There are bitmap graphics, which are composed of pixels. Um, these are also called raster graphics. And Photoshop is the primary program for manipulating bitmap images. Uh, the other kind of graphics that uh, are out there are called vector graphics. And these kind of graphics are composed of shapes and fills and lines. And Illustrator is the primary uh, vector editing software in Creative Suite. So bitmap versus vector graphics. This is really important. So what are some common bitmap graphic types? Well, anytime you take a picture with your digital camera, that's going to create a bitmap image that's made of tiny little pixels that taken together create the image. Uh, photo simulations is a really common application of using Photoshop uh, for urban planning. Uh, Adobe Illustrator, on the other hand, uh, you're going to be working with vector shapes. It's much more commonly used for drawing, especially drawings that have uh, sharp lines like um, logos. It's also commonly used in the planning field for creating maps because it has all sorts of lines and shapes um, that are created using uh, vector line work. Again, it's worth noting that there's plenty of overlap between Photoshop and Illustrator. Uh, you can open raster graphics within Illustrator. You can open vector, draw vector graphics uh, within Photoshop. So while the programs have their distinct categories, there is some overlap between them. So that's just a quick overview of some of the things that we'll be covering in this course uh, and who might want to consider taking it. Uh, thanks for watching.